And that's why I said, let's nerf everything. I'm with you. Yeah. I, I, oh! Oh. Well met. My name is Ben Brode. And I'm Jason Chase. Thanks to all of you for joining us here tonight. Ben, we're finding ourselves in strange surroundings. This is a different locale than I'm used to. It is, and we're both in our flannel. That's only odd for one of us. And this is for a very special occasion. We have something that we just unearthed that we'd like to share with you right now. We're almost there. Quiet down, everyone. This is not like any of our previous expeditions. This will be far more ambitious. We're stepping into a land of primordial wonder. Infused with astonishing elemental energies. The plant life here holds very unusual properties. So don't touch anything. And while you may be excited to see the local fauna, you might want to make sure they don't see you. Because their powers of adaptation are devastating. Make no mistake, we will be tested at every turn. But if we stay on our guard, we might just survive. Now then, are you ready? Then let's journey into Ongoro Crater. That was incredible. Hearthstone's newest expansion is Journey to Ungoro. Ungoro, as it turns out, is a pretty amazing place. It's a place of wonders, but also a place of great danger. Nobody told me that before I came out here. Oh, you got your axe. I do have my axe. You're prepared. So, as all of you come to join us in Ungoro, one of the things you can expect to see is dangerous plant life shooting quills at you, amazing sort of elemental powers, and in fact, you'll see a volcano at the very heart of Ungoro. So let's show you one of our very first cards from Journey to Ungoro, the Volcano Spell. Volcano is a shaman spell. It deals 15 damage. One at a time, the effect is incredible as it showers down meteors upon your opponent. And volcanoes don't discriminate. They can hit your minions, they can hit your opponent's minions. You want to be sure you're playing Volcano when you want to do maximum damage across the whole board. There's all kinds of elemental shenanigans happening in Ungoro Crater. Now, I know what you're thinking. You may think, ah, I've already seen elementals. I've seen my fire elementals, my rock elementals, but these are different. You might see, for example, a giant tar elemental erupt out of a pit in front of you. Or the new mage legendary minion, Pyros. Pyros is a two mana 2-2 two -two to begin with. When it dies, it comes back to your hand as a six mana six six. And if you play it again and it dies again, it'll come back as a 10 mana 10 10. So it's almost like it keeps resurrecting over and over again. It's a lot like that. Elementos is a brand new minion type in Journey to Angoro. You'll see many different types of elementals and we're gonna change some of the minions from sets you already have seen to become elementals. So as it turns out, elementals is just the beginning of the creatures that wait for you in Angoro Crater. What would Ungoro and a primordial world like this be like without the dinosaurs? Dinosaurs are everywhere in Ungoro Crater, but they've soaked up a lot of the primal energy in Ungoro Crater, and they've begun to adapt. Imagine a dinosaur that has now picked up the power of the elements around it for even greater effect. Check out this new card, Verdant Longneck. So adapt is the new keyword coming out with the journey to Ungoro. With Adapt, you'll be given the choice to pick from one of three different powers to upgrade your minion. Yeah, you never know what adaptations will be available to you, but you might see something like Flaming Claws, which gives a dinosaur plus three attack. 
Or if you're imagining your Verdelongek wasn't big enough, imagine if it was upgraded with the massive adaptation, giving it the ability to taunt. Or lightning speed, giving it wind fury. So there'll be dinosaurs galore waiting for you in Ungoro, on top of the elementals and on top of the very dangerous flora. You might be asking yourself, why would I go to Ungoro with all these dangers waiting for me? I've been asking myself that all night, but I think I know why. Why don't you tell us? There are secrets hidden in Ungoro Crater, and in fact, Elise Starseeker and her junior explorers are out in Ungoro Crater tracking them down right now. In fact, there's only one reason I can think of why they might be out on this adventure, and that's they're pursuing a quest. There's a brand new type of card in Journey to Ungoro, and that is the quest card. Why don't we take a look at the first quest card, Awaken the Makers. Make no mistake, quests are incredibly difficult to complete. Imagine having to summon seven different death rattle minions in the one game. Quests cost one mana. They start in your opening hand, and when you play them, you'll see them appear where your secrets normally appear. Uh, but these are a little different than normal secrets in that your opponent will be able to see the quest as well. And that's because the treasures and potential things waiting for you at the end of the quest are so powerful that it's something that your opponent will have visibility into as well. When you complete the quest, you get an incredible reward. Check out Amara, Warden of Hope. Send your hero to 40 health. This card is crazy. So quests will give you access to some of the most powerful cards Hearthstone has ever seen if you can complete them. Journey to Angoro has 135 exciting new cards, and we're gonna continue to show more of them starting on March 17th. Now, don't forget, the Journey to Angoro will also kick off the next standard year for Hearthstone as we begin the Year of the Mammoth. We're in the final preparations now, and we're excited to join all of you when the Journey to Angoro launches in early April. Did you hear some? I didn't. Oh my god! I want to pitch you this idea. What if we do an expansion made entirely of wisps?